Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. Here's another exciting tablet review. And today, let me show you my first Huion tablet, the Inspiroid Dialed Q620M. This is the first time I see such a nice packaging with nice cover design, especially the text Inspiroid Dialed with UV laminated on it. It looks classy and hopefully the product is up to certain classes as well. And most importantly, it is wireless. Let's take a look and see what it has up close. Alright, mold name and number. Let's turn over the box and take a look at the specs. So, it has up to 10.5 10 x 6.5 inches active area, a dial rotate button, wireless connection, 8192 level of pressure sensitivity, 266 pps response rate, and tilt option option up to 60 degrees and a battery free pen stylus. Let's open it up. Wow, it has that nice biodegradable plastic cover to protect it. And let's take it out. Man, it feels great. There's a dial button and 8 customizable shortcut keys. At the back of the tablet, there are diagonal line textures and it looks classy visually and it feels smooth. It doesn't feel rough with the texture on it. It has this 4 rubber grip at 4 corner sides so it won't slip if your hand accidentally pushed it when you draw or work. Let's put this aside first and see what else do we have here. Okay, a thank you card. <laughs> thank you Huyan for giving me this very good initial impression. Follow me on Twitter, social media, register, blah blah blah, okay, done. And here's the cord for you to charge. From the USB Type-C, that plugs into your tablet and the USB Type-A which can be connected to your PC. It's about 1.2 hours of quick charge with 5V1A power supply and it can last up to 20 hours of usage. And this is the OTG phone connector that you can connect to Android devices so it can draw on the go. It has two types, USB-C and the micro USB. And this glove needs to be purchased separately as it doesn't come together with the initial uh, price you pay. It feels soft and should be nice to wear. And next, this is the manual book with standard instructions and on this card it shows you where to download necessary stuff if you wish to read more. But I think not much people cares <laughs> because nowadays people just google it. Oh, it's, it's a warranty card. Inside the book, it tells you what you should be getting. Is there a cleaning cloth? I check anywhere in my box, it doesn't give me any cleaning cloth. So, there are two modes, wired or wireless. And if you connect to Android, you should be expecting half or less active area it's being utilized. And next, here's the pen holder. Personally, I don't like this glittering dotted texture. I prefer matte finishing with nice gloss over the plastic. But that that's okay. And rotate anti-clockwise to open the cover. And you will find there are 10 extra nips for replacement. But to me, I only replace the nips over a year or a year plus. So these extra nips could easily last about 10 years for me. <laughs> and what else do we have? The wireless receiver. Okay, it's not too small. It's bigger than I expected. But it's okay, not too bad. Last but not least, the battery free pen stylus. It feels light. There are two programmable buttons here, and there's a rubber on a place where you grip it. Alright, let's try to use that remover and see if it, it's easy to remove the nips when you wish to swap a new one in there. Hold it with your thumb and index, press it gently until it clicks the nips and then pull it out. It's easy, it's not tight. It 
And here's the items. And there's no cloth. Alright, no cloth. Next, let's look into the software installation part. Firstly, you go to Google, search for Huion, click and browse the main website huion.com. And under support, choose download. And it asks you to choose your product model. In our case, it is the Q620M. And OS, choose Windows or Mac. And choose driver instead of manual. And it shows you the picture of the tablet you search for to double confirm it, it's the right one. And below here, you can choose the latest updated version driver to download. If this is the first time you install, it will continue straight to installation. If it is not, then it will ask you to uninstall the previous driver before continue. Just follow the standard instructions and the installation is pretty quick. Next, you can calibrate the graphic tablet. Here's the UI of the software, looks polished and slick. If you click the dial button, it shows you that you have three options each time you press. It will switch at the bottom of the window. You can option to turn off the dial button if you do not wish to use it. Personally, I like these wheel dial buttons a lot. And for the rest of the express keys, you can customize the keyboard key, mouse key, switch screen, run program, system application, etc. Or set to none if you hate buttons. <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, maybe some, some people hate buttons. They don't like buttons. Okay, you can click on working area menu up here. Then you can choose to use which display or all display. Or even custom work area and also the orientation of the tablet if you're left-handed. Next, we'll look into digital pen tab. You can click to customize when you hover over the buttons. And next tab, there are pressure sensitivity adjustments for you to tweak for your perusal. You can try to draw around and see if the level of pressure sensitivity works well. For me, I usually leave the curve to linear, and I find that more suitable to my drawing pressure and style. And above here, you can also customize different stroke pressure presets for different application. Next, we're gonna hear the sound that it produces from the hardware when we use it. First the dial rotate button. And then the express key buttons. And here's the sound it produces when you draw on the board. Not too loud, acceptable. Next. Let's proceed with the test in Photoshop. Drawing lines works good. Horizontal, vertical, diagonal as well. Dots vary in size when you press with different pressure and writing works well too. And signature with board works smooth too. And that's not my signature, don't worry. I'm just trying it out randomly. And next, I'm going to draw this 2021 Year of Ox font type and apply some stroke tone and see if these pen are consistent when I draw something really fast. So far, so good. No latency problems nor lag. And no jitter issues as well. Next. We're gonna test with Adobe Illustrator. Writing works well. Drawing lines works well too. Drawing shapes with pen tool, turning, curving, corner, with the handle works great. No whip pure problems, nor jittering stuff happen.
next we're gonna test with my favorite painting software, the Clay Studio Paint. Drawing horizontal and vertical lines doesn't give me any problem. I've been drawing too fast and that causes it to separate unevenly. Not a typical problem. Drawing spiral lines seem to be a bit unstable at the second round when it reaches the top. It does have a different range of pressure sensitivity when I press harder and softer. Then, let's draw some cartoon human figure and see how well it performs with lines, strokes, shadings, and etc. Try with writing words and even calligraphy brushed, it works perfectly with the graphic tablet and pen responses are awesome. Next, we come to ZBrush compatibility test. Let me start with this creature. It is a monster that I designed back then for games. Back then when I'm still using my Owa community as Pro 5. The pressure sensitivity in this Huion and Spiroid dial works well. It gives me the flexibility to give softer touch on certain areas when I need the texture to be light and give stronger scops and features of bones when I press harder with the 8K pressure sensitivity level. With the smoothness of the surface touch when you draw, plus the shape of the pen that calibrates seamlessly, with the software and especially wireless connectivity without lack nor latency problem really brings the sculpting experiences to a new level. The feeling of awesomeness. <laughs> Like Po from Kung Fu Panda likes to say. And now I'm adding some details over the eyes with more wrinkles and folds and some tiny stonish texture to make it look better. It works great with sculpting on ZBrush and I'm quite happy how it turned out to be. In conclusion, is it worth buying? Let's take a look at the pros and cons. First of all, the pros. The surface considers smooth and does not produce loud noise when you draw. Then, the clickable button doesn't sound or feel like cheap plastic when you click. The overall product build quality is quite good. And pen is well built and it is very nice to hold. With the rubber grip on it, it is comfy. And the pressure sensitivity works well with the 8K of levels. It is compatible with most of the software out there, even though I do not have enough time to test all of it. But with those four software I tested, at least not much problem so far. It is wireless, yeah, the best feature out that I like the most. Cons. If you wish to use that OTG function to connect to Android, I'm afraid it will disappoint you because I've tested it on my Android phone and the orientation still doesn't feel right. The vertical screen is being mapped to horizontal tablet and it's really bad. You can't even draw a circle. And I'm trying it on Huion Sketch app and Autodesk Sketchbook. Both are having the same problem. I could not set it and to use it just half of the tablet like how it mentioned in the manual book. And don't buy this product if you wish to use it mostly to draw on your phone or tap. So 
Let me know what you think about this tablet. Whether it is suitable for you. Let me know down here under the comment section below. If you like my videos and hope to see more videos like this in the future, please hit the like and subscribe button to my channel and turn on the bell notification button so you won't miss any upcoming contents. Thanks, until then, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.